they grow in specific uh -huh. type of farms. Okay. So this is more of a more of a, a forest. Mm -hmm. The poison wood and poison ivy grows in what we call ridges. So like like, like savanna like forest. That's okay. Very poor sandy soil and there's rarely any connectivity. So the do, if the monkeys came in touch with the poison? You want to do the amenities. No. So they would walk on the trees, they would um they wouldn't not eat the leaves. Right. But, but by walking on the trees and so forth was it won't do anything to them. See why I always it's already falling off, but you see why we call them the rose? The rose. Yeah. yeah. Apple, you see the rose? Oh, yeah. I saw so somebody in that one group eating and one we, of those. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, we do eat them and we actually make a little wine from them. So at the first this would have some little white uh um petals petals coming out of it okay mm -hmm. so like i said at, at one time of the year or so these monkeys will have access to different fruit that's going to give them majority of their water <laughs> i don't think i'll ever get that sound out of my head no Now, being part of the conservatory, do you do you have to patrol the land? Um, we do do some patrols in what we would identify as high risk area. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the patrolling is actually done by your own. So let me give you the structure of the sanctuary. There's a now the sanctuary has been run by all women. They're called the Women's Conservation Group. There's a representative in each village. There's seven villages involved in the sanctuary and they're responsible for their um the village so they, if there's a concern or something they would be the first to know and they would bring it to the board and then they'll decide how they deal with it mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that used to be a monkey bridge guys but I was gonna say, it's no like longer a because the trees are now connecting because all this little piece here used to be forest before but mm -hmm. at some time the village council because these are lots so um people own them and they said okay well we need to put a road through here and they did just that right out here and through here we weren't able to stop them on until they already did the road and so now what we did we, we planted trees from the side in and now the trees are now connected so the monkeys are no longer using the bridge if you look right here for a second this is a national tree the mahogany tree okay also known as the red gold because of the beautiful red mm -hmm. red wood you get from it okay um, it, gets, it turns mature at 100 years old. This one's between 90 and 95 years old. Mm. It's also known as, um, or it also has somewhat of a medicinal value if you want to think about it that way. If you have at least feet, you find this tree, chop out, take off a piece of bark from it, you boil it, you let it cool just a little bit so your feet can stand it. You soak your feet in it. It's gonna leave your feet red for a couple of weeks. You're gonna be like the red footed booby bird. <laughs> <But> <laughs> it's gonna kill the fungus and stop your feet from sweating. Wow. Okay. Oh. This is just a, a fraction, guys, of the size of the tree that used to be in Belize. We would, all of us right here holding hands, couldn't get around the common trees five, six hundred years ago. So um, there's, a, there's a famous picture at a, a restaurant in Belize. It's called Old Belize. And there's about 20 people holding hands. And that just to get around the tree that's how big they used to be but most of them were taken out and shipped to england for furniture because it's hard wood but it's easy to work with so it's easy to carve things into it so that's why the british loved it so much so do you live in on the sanctuary yes actually Monkey where we bridge. are at the center uh -huh. my house is so where i showed you that red bird yes that's my house right there okay. in the background yeah, so, um, the, so when we asked the landowners and we gave them, say this is going to be your incentive if you sign up with the sanctuary and decide to protect your property. Now this is a voluntary pledge and it means that they can withdraw at any point. Mm -hmm. There's no restrictions. Mm -hmm. So we asked them to, to abide by very simple rules. And these were, leave the trees by the river. Um, there's a law that we help get in place with your bilateral foot leaves 66 feet of forest from your from the river 
inwards and then you can start cutting if you want. So from your property there's a six to six feet gap. Um, so that's one of them. We ask them to leave if, if they want to cut leave trees that they know the monkeys use as food and try and maintain a, a corridor that the monkeys can travel on. Um, so that was one of them. So, was, so first was leave the trees by the river, leave trees that they know the monkeys use as food and leave corridors that the monkeys can travel on. Those were the three goals that we asked them to abide by, sorry, three rules that we asked them to abide by. And we still have about 90% of the people still abiding by those rules. Wow. So the monkeys don't have to worry about human predators? Yes, they don't have to worry about them because no one tries to get them as pets. Um, one is illegal and the fine is pretty high. And there's, uh, like yeah. I said, there's just no competition. There's no competition, so there's no reason for people to say, okay, this animal is a pest, let's get rid of it. Okay? Does anybody, just give me a name, what comes I to mind? Hot lips. Yeah, we saw the sign. <laughs> but yeah, there's a sign back yeah. here, hot lips, right? Hot it's lips. red and shaped like a lip. Hot lips. But it's also known as the womb bush. Okay? The what? All, the womb. Womb like bush. A, okay. Like a woman's womb. Mm -hmm. Because all the children were mainly, the, uh, unless there was compl complications, they would take you to the hospital. But all the other childs are um, 25 years ago, but 25 years ago would have been de uh, delivered by midwives. So after the mother gave birth, they would collect a bunch of these leaves and they will boil it, put it in a bucket, have the mom sit over it after she gave birth, and also night her down with it. And this would help to clean out all the afterbirths and prevent infections from occurring. Mm. Okay, so that's why it's called the womb bush. There's, there's yeah, so see, let's step over these ones, okay? These are called oh, army ants. Yeah. 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 And there's... Yeah, cow droppings. Cow, oh, cow like I said, we still have, I think, I, I'm not sure if you guys um, heard me up front as we were coming in. I told you that we still have a little bit of free-range cattle. Free-range yeah. cattle. Mm -hmm. Hot lips. And, and we also have now, you probably won't, won't believe me, but... These here, so these holes here and right over here, these oh, are done okay. by, by chickens. Because when the, um, when the water comes down, it, it, it brings more dirt in and mm -hmm. the chickens try and get right underneath the leaves. So there's a big coop right over, a uh, chicken coop over there. Mm -hmm. I think she has about 150 chickens. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they come in and they just kind of dig around. <laughs> so let's watch this Back in the olden days, this tree here, which is called Negrito, its bark was traded. Um, it's no lie, you could check it up on the internet, and if you do enough research, you'll probably find it. But it's called Negrito, and the bark of this tree was traded at the price of gold to fight against diarrhea um, over in Africa. Yeah. Okay? Huh. Well, my thought is then, therefore, not many people got it because there were not a lot of people in Africa that could afford that. Well, um, it was mainly so. It was, yeah, so it's not a whole lot, but I think it was mainly traded to the um, the big plantations. Okay, so the plantation so, owners would so get it would, for yeah, their. They would lose if they, they, if, they would, if they can't. Very good. Their um, work to done. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like now in America, uh, lots of times the... Fish. Sorry, sorry. You see the rabbit? You see one right in there? Come up here a bit. It's nothing like a rabbit, remember I said. It's walking right, right through the trees there. You see it way back there? In the background? Oh, yeah. Going right between the trees? Yeah. I could hardly see. Okay, if you guys go right here. Yeah. Don't wall up, you see? Yeah. Oh, don't No. No. Watch Daddy run. I'll be right behind you. I'll push you aside. Oh, my. Please don't come this way. Maybe Ginny wants to hold the rabbit. Maybe Ginny doesn't. Nope. Lost him. Oh, darn. He lost him.
So nowadays, a lot of company owners will do the flu vaccines okay. for their mm -hmm, for their workers because of the high chance of getting the flu, and then you have workers leaving work and. Okay, yeah, that makes an invent, uh, good investment. <laughs> yeah, it is a good investment for them. It is true. And they even bring them, bring a nurse to the work. So, yeah. you know, it's not like you have to go out and do okay. it. You just do it while they're there. Yeah, while they're and it makes sense. Yeah, it does. If they would have to leave work, that mm -hmm. takes away time and yeah. they don't to go. And a lot of them wouldn't then go. Yeah. You know, if, you, they, if he said, okay, I'll pay for it, you go get it done, a lot of people wouldn't go get it done. So it sounds like it's not difficult for people to live by the conservatory rules. Oh. No, ma'am, it's very, very simple. Actually, most people don't clear cut their forest, I mean, their, their land. Unless they, because one is expensive mm -hmm. to do it, and depending on the certain amount of acres that you have to clear a certain acreage, you need to get government approval, and so you have to go do an EIA, which is an environmental assessment. Um, mm -hmm. And so there's different things that can uh, prevent those from happening. So the um, the biggest threat that the sanctuary faces being that the the lands are still privately owned and it's voluntary is from outsiders coming in and buying off the land.